In this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the comic book storage box you can find on Etsy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the comic book storage boxes that you can find on Etsy. You know, the wood ones that look really cool, that have the comic display on the front. You know, uh, the, the, that one right there, right there. Uh, I own about six of them and uh, I really love them overall. So uh, I'm going to give you guys my pros and cons uh, for these boxes and you know, hopefully it's going to help you make a decision if you want to buy some of your own. So let's go check them out. All right, so this right here is the comic display box that I found on Etsy. Now you can probably find it in different uh, websites online like an Amazon, for instance, but uh, I tend to think that most of them uh, can be found on Etsy. That's where I got mine. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about uh, some of the pros and cons that um, I found with this box. As you can see, I have a few of them uh, back here. Um, and um, overall, I love them, but let's get into the details. So uh, what are some of the pros with this uh, comic storage box? Well, number one, first and foremost, off the bat is the presentation. The presentation is incredible. I've had a lot of friends come over to my place, ones who are not uh, into comic books or comic book fans. In fact, they might even scoff at uh, you know some of the nerd culture things that I have here on display. Uh, but with that being said, every single person who comes into my office and sees these boxes uh, always makes a compliment. They say, "Ooh, that looks really nice." You know, um, there's there's a there's a clean aesthetic to it which, uh, you know, uh, we as comic collectors, we can often be, um, you know, kind of slobbish with our, with our books. And um, it sometimes gives uh, signs of, of kind of a hoarder uh, mentality, you know, but, but these um, particular storage boxes, boxes present really nicely and they, they look incredible. Um, my number two pro is that they're easy to put together. Uh, this came in, um, I'd say, eight pieces or so, um, but it was really, really intuitive uh, with how to put together. All the pieces slid together perfectly. Uh, the cuts were, were done very well. Um, so as soon as I figured out how to make that first box, the rest were um, easy peasy. All right. Uh, my next pro with these boxes is that they are... Uh, I'm going to say somewhat sturdy. And now I'm going to get into this with my cons later on, but because uh, I'm a little bit on the fence with this one. But overall, I'm going to say that these things are sturdy in terms of like, you know, the quality of the materials. They, they, they feel firm. Uh, it holds together nicely. And so far, I've had no problems. Uh, and then the last uh, pro I'm going to talk about is the price. Um, the price, I think, is is fair. You know, it... it will run you about around $50 or so for, for a couple. Um, and I think that that is, I think that that's a, a good, a good value. Um, I wouldn't want to be paying any more for these types of boxes. Uh, and I think, you know, if you could pay less, that'd, that'd be amazing. But I can tell from uh, the materials that they have to be created by and also, um, you know, the precision that the cuts need to be, um, you know, I, I'm not sure if, if there's a cheaper price that they could do to, you know, make their margins. So those are my pros. And, you know, I'll give you guys a little bit of a better look here uh, of the box as I continue to talk about it. So as you can see, here it is here, of course, beautiful design. And again, oh, another pro, uh, but you guys already know this, you get to put a comic book in this uh, kind of case in the front here, which I find really effective uh, for organization purposes. Um, you know, in the back, you can see here, I have uh, actually collected some of my runs um, and that's a good way for me to kind of organize them. So here I have an entire run of Darkhawk. Yes, that is right. I have an entire run of Darkhawk, one through 51 uh, and the Infinity um, tie-ins. Uh, here I have an entire run of Silver Surfer. And then here um, I have an entire run of Wolverine from the 80s, uh, except I put the Marvel Comics Presents uh, on the front because I have Wolverine number one on my wall. So anyways, I wanted to put uh, point that out that you can organize them really nicely and have a bunch of uh, runs in there. Uh, as for this one, you know, I put a lot of my modern comic books 
uh, in this one, like new stuff that I buy that comes out, you know, uh, in 2020. And for instance, uh, I put uh, Marvel Legacy, which to me represents uh, the new era or current new era of comic books. So anyways, this is that box. That's what it looks like. As you can see, really nice, kind of has that wood feel. You get to put the comic in the front here. Um, but there are some cons that I want to talk about. Now, the first con is that these boxes are prone to damage. Now, I wanna show you guys something here. When I first got this box sent to me, you can see down here, it got shipped. Uh, this was something that came in uh, the shipping. It was already damaged inside of it. Um, I sent a note to the uh, people I bought it from. Uh, they were kind enough to reimburse me a little bit because you know it's not, not really their fault, but it does happen with these materials. And you can see up here, uh, right here in the upper corner, there's a chip right here. So these boxes are prone to damage, especially if they're getting um, you know, banged around or moved and everything. And, and that's kind of why I wanted to talk about um, or what I was referring to in my pros with sturdiness. These things, um, although I do think that they're sturdy and the materials are pretty good, because I feel like they're prone to damaging, you know, it's kind of made of that sort of balsa wood material. It's very, very light. Um, you know, if you're the type of person who wants to pick up their short boxes and throw them on the shelf or uh, move them around a bunch and constantly, you know, go from the garage to the to inside or you're bringing, uh, you know, these boxes everywhere, um, they're going to get damaged over time for sure. They, they, they're not, um, they're not that durable and they're not the type of material like a, a normal basic comic book box that you would just uh, have no problem kind of throwing around. So that's my number one con. Uh, my number two con is that because you had to assemble these yourself, you know, see these are individual pieces, the top, the, the, the case up here, uh, this piece right here is an individual piece, this piece right here is an individual piece. Because you had to manually put them together, I feel a lot of shifting every now and again. See how, see how this kind of moves down here? There's a piece right here that goes on the bottom and you can see I can actually kind of slide it out because it's supposed to go underneath the comics. So a lot of times the pieces, let me show you that again right here. See, see that? A lot of times these pieces are often shifting. Like I notice that, you know, they move and stuff. So, so I often find myself kind of every now and again coming up to the box and just pressing it back together. Just kind of just like that, just making sure that it's, you know, nice and tight. Now, I'm sure that there's ways around that. Maybe if I wanted to glue uh, the pieces together to have them hold that form, that would be a good way to do it. Uh, but since I didn't do that, uh, I find myself often pulling the pieces together to make sure that they are uh, secure. Now, my number three con, this is probably the biggest con because I, I can live with, you know, uh, keeping these boxes, um, you know, in order. I can live with them shifting around. But my number one con here is you guys are going to see this. Now, this when I when you store, what's nice is this top is perfor perforatedly cut so that it fits nice and snug, perfectly like that, right, right, right along those seams there. But one of the problems with that is because this is cut the size of a proper comic book box. If you're the type of person that wants to put dividers in your comic book uh, box and you want to divide things, these dividers are too tall for the topper. So as you can see, I have this divider right here and you can already see that when I put this on top of it, it no longer fits snugly. So you can see right there, it's, it's not on the loop. So there it dipped in, but now the backside is up. So that is, that is definitely my biggest con with these things is that if you want to put dividers in, uh, they don't fit perfectly. So maybe if you can find dividers that are cut shorter, that might be a solve, or you can find other ways to divide your comics, that might also be a solve. Um, so that's something to consider when you are looking at these boxes. Now, I want to show one more thing, just so you guys have a comparison. Here is, as you can see, this is what the box looks like next to a standard comic book box. It is, in fact, just about the same height 
So compared to a standard box, it is right, um, right in line. But if you want to compare it to one of these newer comic book boxes, like the, the design boxes, what you'll notice is that this one is actually a lot taller. And as my last con, I will say, if you're the type of person that likes to put these boxes inside of uh, cubbies, like, a, like a, something like a this, you know, uh, you might find that these do not fit in those cubbies because they're just that much taller than these other boxes. So something to consider that if you've been storing your comic book boxes inside of those cubbies, um, keep in mind that these might not fit uh, because they are about half an inch taller. All right, so those were my pros and cons of the comic book storage boxes. Again, um, overall, I think that these things are awesome, uh, strictly from a presentational purpose. Uh, I'm the kind of person that likes to keep my comic collection and my room looking uh, minimal and, and clean. And for me, the, uh, these boxes do that trick. So uh, if you're like me and you want that kind of uh, aesthetic, uh, I highly recommend picking up a few of these. Uh, if you're more in it for the um, the storage aspect and you don't really care about the display, uh, you're probably better served uh, just doing your generic comic book box or maybe one of the graphic ones that are printed uh, with characters on them. So that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, give it a like or give it a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you have some of these boxes? Uh, subscribe if you're enjoying my content and I will see you in the next video.